latest on Duck Dynasty patriarch Phil Robertson. He's making headlines for the, the comments he made that led to him being suspended indefinitely by A&E. Now his family is rallying behind him. The future of the show is in question. And ABC's Matt Gutman has their story. Overnight, the stars of the A&E hit show Duck Dynasty said the duck stops here. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Phil Robertson's family threatening to walk away from the show, saying, as a family, we cannot imagine the show going forward without our patriarch at the helm. We are in discussions with A&E to see what that means for the future of Duck Dynasty. Robertson has expressed controversial views before. Here he is preaching in 2010 in a video posted on TMZ. They are insolent, arrogant, God haters. A and E has no comment, but others across America are fighting for Phil Robertson, the patriarch of the most watched unscripted cable show in history. The network suspended Robertson indefinitely after his controversial comments to GQ associating homosexuality with sin and lumping gays in with terrorists. Robertson, who grew up in Jim Crow, Louisiana, discussed his views on race, saying, I never with my eyes saw the mistreatment of any black person. Pre-entitlement, pre-welfare, you say, were they happy? They were godly. They were happy. No one was singing the blues. You might think his duck is cooked, but not so fast. On Facebook, a fan page calling for the boycott of A&E until Phil is reinstated surged to well over a million likes in just a day, and his supporters are big shots. Sarah Palin seen here with the Duck Dynasty guys blasting his critics Thursday as intolerance, and his home state's governor, Bobby Jindal, the left is tolerant of every viewpoint except those that disagree with them. And the show's biggest sponsor, Under Armour, is not cutting ties. When I visited earlier this year, the family talked about the gospel of guns, family, and faith. Amen. But the family that prays together will have to see if it stays together on TV. Amen. Amen. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, New York.